Good morning to one and all. This is Vasri Priya from Vasri Ati Venkatadri Institute of Technology. Today in this lecture, let us see water jet problem from artificial intelligence. First, let's see what is our problem uh, regarding this water jet. Um, here we are having two, two jets, that is 4 liter and 3 liter with measuring markers on each of them. So there are uh, there, there is endless water supply through tap. Our task is to get 2 liters water in 4 liter jet solution. Here, let us consider a state space for this problem can be described as a set of ordered space of integer x comma y. So that means here all the all the uh, states are represented in the form of, of some ordered space x comma y. Here you can see in the below figure we are having a 4 liter water jet and a 3 liter water jet. Our aim is to bring, our goal is to bring 2 liters in this 4 liter water jet. How is it possible? So for this let us consider one ordered pair x and y. X is the number of liters of water in 4 liter jet and y is the number of liters of water in 3 liter water jet. So x is the number of liters of water in 4 liter jet and y is number of liters of water in 3 liter jet. So here, this this is the table. Regarding this table, we are going to sorry. Regarding this table, we are uh, production rules. We are going to build uh, solve this water jet problem. Here, let us see each of the rule uh, one by one. Here, when the current state and uh, to what next state we need to move. Here, first the current state is described and then the next state about the description. Here, x comma y when x is less than that of four. We need to fill the four uh, gallon jig. That means four comma y. If x comma y when y is less than that of three, we need to fill the three liter jig. That is x comma three. When uh, if x is greater than that of zero, then we need to sub. Um, we need to pour some out water out of four liter water jig. When y is greater than that of zero, we need to pour some water out of three liter gallon jig. So here, as you can see, when uh, when y is greater than that of zero, you can puff, you can also empty the four liter gallon jig, and also you can empty the three liter gallon jig onto the ground. So these are the six rules uh, to be followed. And when coming to the seventh rule, when the two liter the amount of water in two jigs is greater than or equal to four, and uh, the there is some water in um, three liter jet then we need to consider the following condition pour water from three liter jet, uh, gallon jet into the four liter jet until the four liter gallon jet is full and when uh, when um, the liters of water in both the jets is greater than or equal to three and the uh, four liter jet has some water then we need to pour the water from four liter jet into the three liter jet until the three liter jet is full so here, as you can see, we have poured uh, the water from 4 liter jig in that is 3 minus y into the 3 liter jig until the 3 liter jig is full, that is 3. And when both the liters, both the amount, uh, amount of both the liters of water in both the jigs is less than or equal to 4, and there are some amount of water in the 3 liter jig, then we need to pour all the water from three gallon jug into the four gallon jug. That means X plus Y comma zero. That is the four, three liter jug is empty and all the water in the three liter jug has been poured into four liter jug. And when both the um, liters of water in both the jugs is less than or equal to three and there is some water in the four liter jug, then we need to pour all the water from four gallon jug into the three gallon jug. That means we are emptying, uh, we are pouring uh, all the water uh, in the four gallon jug into the three gallon jug and emptying the four gallon jug. Whereas coming uh, when our goal is zero, uh, zero comma two, we require to get um, to, uh, four liters, uh, uh, two liter water in four liter jug, right? So we are pour when we get a two liter, uh, two liters in three gallon jig, we need to pour those two liters into four gallon jig. So pour the two gallon jig from three gallon jig into four gallon jig. When we are having two liters and some y liters, empty the two gallon jig in, in the four gallon jig onto the ground. 
So this is how, these are the 12 rules we need to follow when we are solving this um, water jig pro problem for three gallon jig and four gallon jig. This is the solution part one. As you can see, initially, the four liter jig is zero and three liter jig is zero. I have poured all the water into three liter jig using the rule two. Here is the rule two. Here is a rule two. So using this rule two, I have poured all the, uh, I have filled the three liter jig. I have uh, poured this three liter jig into four liter jig. That means we get three comma zero. That means the three liter jig will become empty by using rule nine. And I am again filling the three liter jig. So the initially four liter jig has having three liters. And now I have filled the three liter jig. So by this is done by using rule two. Next one is pour one liter, uh, pour, uh, pour, some, pour some water into the four liter jig. That means here we are having three liters, right? If we pour some water until this jig is filled, we get four liters. And in this one liter will be decreased. So here we get four and here we get two. This is done by using rule seven. Next, now I am emptying totally this four liter jig. That means we get zero comma two. This can be done by using any rule followed. That is rule five or rule 12. Now this two liter water is poured into four liter jig in order to our goal state is to acquire two liters jig in four liter jig, four, two liters water in four liter jig. So I have poured all the water into four liter jig. So we get two comma zero. This is can be done by using rule nine or rule 11. This is one of the solution path to in order to solve this water jet problem. There is also another solution path. As you can see here, I have uh, taken uh, zero zero initially. I have filled the four liter jet and this is also empty. I have poured some water into this three liter jet until this three liter jet is full. That means it will be filled with three liters of water and uh, here it will be left with one liter. Now I am pouring uh, uh, I am pouring this one liter onto the ground. Then I will uh, make this four liter jug empty. That is zero comma three. And this is done by using rule five. Now I am pouring this three liter jug into again into this four liter jug. Uh, and this three liter jug will be empty. And this is done by applying rule nine. Here finally this is having uh, from before state it is having three liter water. And I am filling again this with three liters. So this is done by using rule two. Now I'm pouring from three liter jug into four liter jug, one liter of water. That means four liter jug will be full and one liter will be decreased in this three liter jug. This is done by using rule seven. So I'm pouring all this water uh, in the four liter jug onto the ground. That means it becomes zero and two liter jug will be as it, three liter jug will contain as these two liters. And this is done by using rule five. So I'm poor, uh, you know, our goal is to get the two liters in the four liter jug. So uh, two liters of water is poured into a four liter jug and this is zero uh, and this becomes empty and this is done by using rule nine. So finally, we have reached our goal state by filling the four liter jug with two liters of water. So these are two different solutions. So this is all about how to solve the water jug problem for four liters and three liters jigs. Thank you.